Hi there my immortals, it's the goddess of skills here with a quick tutorial on how you can make this natural looking middle part wig without a closure or a frontal. Yes, there is no closure, there is no frontal, I simply used bundles and used a special sewing technique so if you want to see how I did that, definitely keep on watching. I hope you guys are ready because it's super easy. So to start off, I have my mannequin head and I'm just going to be taking the hair that I have um, and then putting my wig cap which has this lace in front, it's very important. I'll pin that down and take my hair and I'm literally going to start sewing. There's a ton of sewing tutorials on YouTube so I'm not slowing this part down, I'm only going to slow down the places that are very important. But this is what the hair looks like when I start to get to the top. Now I'm going to be creating the baby hairs that you see at the start of the video and if you're wondering how I did this I simply laid one track facing my face like facing forward and away from the other tracks and this is so that when I part my hair I'm going to have those sticking out and then I can lay those then I also tack this down um, like halfway in between and then I just continue sewing the hair in a U shape like I have been doing from the beginning and it's important that I do it in a U shape because when we get to the top you will see why so now that we're at the top i'm going to be putting uh two pins in the middle and this is to signify where i want my middle part to be and then i'm going to be wrapping thread around these two pins and the reason i'm doing this is very simple i want to mark the place where i want the skin aka skin to be showing on the lace so i'm going to be sewing hair onto everywhere except where that black thread is now i'm taking a track of hair and i'm facing it away from the hair that i've already sewn and cutting it to the actual size and then i'm going to be sewing this down and this is going to be what's going to help us get that natural looking part so i sew this down going um, from the bottom to the top and then uh, this is me flipping it over so that you guys can see what I have done. Don't worry, the part is not going to be that wide as you can see from the video at the beginning. So I'm going to lay it down back on the other side. And then here is the very important part. So I'm going to zoom in so that you guys can see. I'm going to be sewing the thread right beside where that black thread that we tied onto the two pins are if you look very closely you see the black line i'm not sewing on the line i'm sewing just beside it because i'm trying to get a very straight line and this is going to be able to help me get the part that i'm trying to achieve so i sew this and um, i'm going to open it now for you guys to see that that part that you saw before that was super wide is not as wide anymore um let me turn it yes so see right beside that black thread not on it so now that i have that looking like the way i want it to be i'm going to go back down and secure that and make sure that when you're sewing it back down you're sewing on the exact same place that you sewed your first line you don't want them like side by side or anything you want to sew this along the exact line that you sewed down the first time you're just reinforcing what you already did now that that's done, I'm going to flip it over so that you can see what it looks like and we're just going to be filling up a little gap at the back. To fill the gap at the back, we're going to fill up this gap that is showing here because we don't need this. So I use one track of weave on and then I just sew that down um, right behind what we just did. Again, be very careful not to sew over that black thread in the middle because we're going to be removing that later. Now we go and do the exact same thing we just did on this side, on the other side. Like I said, so right beside the black thread. I really hope that you guys can see this. I can actually see it, but I hope that you guys can see as well so that you understand. Um, I tack that uh, going up or down, any direction you want. Make sure that it is secure. Add your other track on that just to cover what you did. I hope I haven't confused you. When I flip this open, this is how the hair is going to look. Now I'm going to take out the pins and I'm going to take out the thread. I struggled with that a little bit because <laughs> I sewed on the thread in the middle, which is what I told you guys not to do. And this is how the part looks. So you see why I said you needed that lace in your wig cap? It looks very natural. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. And when I did, this is how the hair looked. I hope you guys love this video and you love the look. Kindly um, subscribe, like, drop your comments. If you have any questions, ask them and I will be here to answer. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.